I'm Lori Novak, an artist and professor of photography and imaging in Tisch School of the Arts. I'm also one of the one billion people worldwide who suffer from migraine. I started getting migraines when I was eight years old. I was told that I worked too hard, worried too much, was too stressed. So I learned how to hide my illness. And then in my 30s, a friend gave me a copy of Joan Didion's In Bed. In this essay, she describes what it's like to have migraine, to have a migraine, to live with migraines. It was painful and so brutally honest it changed my life. Here was a woman that could be out front about this disease that affects so many other women who have been forced to suffer in silence. So I started to not hide my condition as much. 25 years later, I started to photograph myself every time I have a migraine. I call this project Migraine Register, and it is what I'll be working on during my fellowship year. When I get a migraine, it's, it's usually uh, when I wake up in the morning. So lying there in bed before I take my, um, an injection that will hopefully take away the pain, I take stock of how I'm holding myself, what my gesture is, and then I repeat it uh, and take a photo with my iPhone or the webcam in my computer. I perform my pain, hoping to give a sense of what it's like, both for myself, um, my camera's acting in as a mirror, as a mirror and for others to kind of see the relentlessness of this invisible illness. Sometimes I alter the images with Photoshop in hopes of giving a sense of, of what it feels like, uh, of how to visualize the invisible. For my fellowship year, I plan to finish a draft of a book I want to make of these self-portraits, editing my thousand plus images because I'm sorry to say I get anywhere from 10 to 15 migraines a month. I also plan to include excerpts from my diary writings from over the years, though I must say it is hard for me to write about them, which is why I started photographing them. So it's not, my writings aren't ex as extensive as my photographs. I'll also be including an essay written about my friend, the writer Susan J. Miller, which talks about her observations of what it's been like knowing me for so many years, suffering from migraines. I will also be finding someone from the medical establishment to write a piece about migraines, especially women and migraines. I see this as a feminist art intervention where I honor the long history of untold women who have suffered from inv invisible illnesses and have not been believed, have been depressed, and have had to live a life in pain where they could never truly be themselves.